everybody out there in YouTube land, dude, here and we're back. Back again, back in the Book of Unwritten Tales here with Wilbur. Uh, let's go get that mage diploma. A weather vane in a mage school. I wonder if my parents would be able to accept the fact that I'm different. Ooh, wow. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. Uh, let's see what we got in here. After Wilbur looks around a little bit. Can I help you? Oh. Uh. I have to get to the Archmage urgently. I need to see the Archmage, Master Marcus. It's urgent. Why are you bothering me with that? The Archmage and I, we aren't necessarily the best of friends. I can't get into the upper part of the town without a mage diploma. I understand, and what should I do about it? I thought, well, maybe you could lend me a diploma. I urgently need to give something to the Archmage. Something important for the good of the world. Everything that good does is, after all, important, right? But I can't help you. I can't just award degrees to any old Tom, Dick, or Harry. The Mage Guild already has me under close scrutiny. Um, would I have to get to the Archmage? Can you really not help me? Is there really no other way? I must give the Archmage something important. I'm not going to take it to him. And Bill the Merchant is not permitted in the upper town. There's the town guard. He could take it up there for you. I, I, I can't. I swore to give it to the Archmage personally. Then, my little friend, you're going to have to become a mage graduate. <laughs> uh, that's a lovely pair of glasses you have there. Whoa. Nice glasses you're wearing. Hmm? Oh, these. These are magic glasses. We mages can read invisible secret texts with them. Something like that really exists. Of course. Many mages are very distrustful and guard their knowledge like a treasure. And what are you reading there? The weekly magical paper, classified section. Wow. Hmm. Uh, uh, so, uh, what do you got against the Archmage, huh? Why don't you like the Archmage? Did he do something to you? No, no, it's... No, no, it's... It's just that we've known each other for aeons. You could say all our lives, really. And he... he gets on my nerves. Why? His raised index finger. His idealism, his... He always just sees the good in everything. What's wrong with believing in good? Nothing. I used to as well. But when you look at what's happened to this town, what's happening to so many other towns, then you really have to be an idiot not to doubt everything. I see no reason to. Then you're just a happy gnome. Hmm. So can I become a qualified mage with a diploma? Can I do that? Become a certified mage, I mean? Of course. Anyone can be whatever they want if only they desire it enough. Yes, that's true. No, it's not. But I can try, can't I? Most people have so little magic in them that they can't even cast one itty-bitty spell in their whole life. I want to try. Don't be silly. What else should I do? I'm certainly not going to just sit around here and do nothing. Hmm. So, can I become a student? <sighs> All right then, Mr. Gnome. Wilbur Weathervane. Then, Wilbur Weathervane, if you want to be admitted to this mage school of excellence, you will need three things. Okay. You need a mage's robe. Not just any old rags, of course. Something substantial made of magical fabric. Hmm. Then you need a wand. That's your most important tool as a mage. <coughs> well, besides your mind. And thirdly, a pile of gold. Gold? A whole pile of it. If I'm going to be wasting my time, I at least want to get paid for it. Fine. And how fast can I complete my diploma? That depends entirely on you. As a pupil of this establishment, you can take your exam at any time. Some manage very quickly. Most never pass at all. Hmm. Uh, could you perhaps spare an old robe for me? You wouldn't perhaps have an old robe I could wear? 
Certainly not. Not in your size anyway, little man. Anyway, it's tradition for the prospective mage to tailor their first robe themselves. Can you sew? Well, I was always good at handicrafts. Yeah. That's good. You can't imagine how ridiculous lots of these mages look with their self-tailored robes, or without them when a gust of wind blows. Mage robes have to be made out of a special magical fabric. It protects you from many simple spells and curses, but for that it has to be sewn using a magical needle as well. Hmm, so I need a magically treated cloth and a needle and thread. That much is clear. And I need a pattern. I mean, it's not like I know a lot about magic robes. Alright, um, who can sell me a magic wand? Can I buy a magic wand here in the school? Or is there somewhere else I can find one? You can't just buy any old wand. The wand has to fit the mage, you understand? The wand picks the mage, not the other way around. Ask Bill the Merchant if he's got a couple of wands. Lots of good mages have died recently. Perhaps you'll get lucky. Hmm. Uh, now where am I supposed to get a heap of gold from? I'm a poor gnome. Where am I supposed to get a pile of gold? If I knew where there were piles of gold just lying around, then I would have helped myself by now, don't you think? Can't I just work off my debt once you've accepted me as a student? Ah, a gnome can't earn that much with honest work. You don't expect me to steal, do you? There are many gradations between honest work and stealing. Take Whooperman, the showman. He's very rich, and that without ever having worked, and without ever stealing. How does that work? He knows people's folly and makes use of it. Ask him. How can I find him? His wagon is out there on the meadow. Here, take this. No, it's a map. A postcard. It shows you the most important points around here. You can use it to quickly get between one place and another. Oh, okay. Well, well uh, I'll go again. I'll go and get what I need then. If you say so. Alright, so let's take a look. Uh, look at the bookcase. Hang on. Oh, I'd give a lot to be able to read these books, but I'm sure only students are allowed to do that. Maybe, maybe it's been written on using magic chalk. It's blank. But it could have been written on using magic chalk. All right. Uh, oh, look, the kitchenette. Some kind of mini kitchen. There's a lot of weird ingredients that could be used for the pot. Hmm. Uh, what else is here? Uh, the strange mirror. What is that? A mirror? I can only see myself in it faintly. All right. Uh, school desk. I wonder how many humans once trained to become mages here. Three. Do, do. Hmm. Sheep's head. Beneath the head there hangs a sign. It reads, The sheep, a mage's best friend. It protects us, it keeps us warm. Wow. Uh, sheep skeleton. A shorn sheep, I think. Sheep are more dangerous than they would have us believe. They're hiding something. That's what Grandad says. That's funny. Uh, look at the crystal ball. A lovely crystal ball on a small stand. Hmm, it looks completely transparent to me. No fog, no burning eyes, and no visions of the future to be found. Hmm. Take it. Um, Master Marcus, can you predict the future with the ball? You what? Uh, that's just silly hocus pocus. You need tea leaves or tarot cards for that. Hmm. Then why do you have the ball? It was a promotional gift. May I have it? If you like. All right. So now we got a ball. Sweet. Uh, wh what is this? Look at the carton. A ratty old box containing some strange objects. Most are quite dusty. Um, Master Marcus. What are all these things in this box? Hmm? Oh, that's just old magic stuff. Help yourself. Great. Thanks. Here's a needle and some thread. Oh, sweet. Nice. And here are three small glass vials filled with colored portions, all tightly corked. Hmm. Um, the rest really does seem to be just junk. All right. Uh, so we got magic needle and thread, uh, crystal ball, potions, 
Uh, I believe that's all that's in here. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to Homeboy, see if he's Oi, got a magic Wait! Room. You! You! What's going on over there? Ah! Wow! A super villain! I'll get you if it's the last thing I do! It'll be your turn <coughs> sooner or later! Oh man, you got your ass beat. The merchant doesn't look particularly happy. I hope he helps me just the same. Hello, Mr. Merchant. What do you want? Uh, why are you looking so down? I've been asking myself why you look so grumpy. That's got nothing to do with you, is it? Not directly, but... Everything's going down the pan. Everything. Well... My beautiful market stores have been burnt down, my shop is closed, and it's all thanks to that dirtbag. You mean the Shadow Army? Our own leader. Instead of just faffing around, they should have gone straight in and hit them hard. It was all right in the past. I used to sell 500 arrows a day. Mana potions by the gallon, power elixirs, invulnerability potions, <laughs> all the good stuff. But nowadays, no one's buying anymore. Death. All dead. And who cares about my turnover? Nobody. That's who. Oh, how terrible. And then there's that damned king of thieves. He'd have the cheese off my sandwich if I didn't look out. King of thieves? Who's that? The king of thieves? Who's that? A miserable thieving rat. He pinched everything edible off my stall while I was playing W.O.B. He used to go thieving all over before, but now, since all the traders have gone, he just steals from me. Somehow I don't find that entirely illogical. What? It's unfair, that's what it is. Uh, but with us honest traders, he's able to do that. Uh, if I can catch the King of Thieves, what would you give me? If I were to catch the King of Thieves for you, what would that be worth to you? You? How would a little squirt like you deal with the King of Thieves? The King is even smaller than I am. Besides, I have experience at hunting rats. No, that's true. Well, it can't hurt, I suppose. But I don't want him caught. I want to see him dead. Oh my god. Kill? Oh, I don't know about that. Here's my offer. You kill the rat and bring me his mask as proof. As a reward, you can choose three items from my fine range of goods. And get a move on! I'm off out of here soon. What can an honest, hard-working trader still do in a place like this? I want my revenge, and then my peace and quiet. <laughs> Alright, uh, Town Guard won't let me into the Upper Town. I'm not allowed into the Upper Town, but I need to see the Archmage. It's urgent. Don't tell me the miserable town guard won't let you through. I've been living in this town for 30 years and I've never been up there yet. <laughs> We're supposed to pay up so that the beautiful people can all live nice and posh up there in the upper town. But will they let us in? Heh, <laughs> no way. Luckily, I'm a non-taxpayer on principle. Alright, uh, I'd like to buy something. I want to buy something from you. What then? Uh, do you sell mage diplomas by any chance? You don't happen to have any mage diplomas, do you? Or invitations from the Archmage? In front, next to the free gold. Uh, I'd like a magic wand. I need a magic wand. Do you have any in stock? Of course. I have the largest range of magic wands you'll find anywhere. Excellent. But you know, magic wands have to match the mage. So they have to come down to test the ones personally. I am the mage. Soon? You? <laughs> That's a good one. I mean it. I don't have any time for kids messing about. But I need a magic wand to be accepted into the mage school. Please, let me try it. Ah, uh, well, if you must. Come here. Here. Wave it around in the air a bit. Nothing. Try this one. It's five and a quarter inch balsa, threaded with a lugworm spinal cord. Mm. 
This is going to take some time. <laughs> I've had enough, that's it. There's not one single spark of magic in you, and I'm not having you waste any more of my time. But that was only four magic ones. <laughs> I don't care, I've had enough. I haven't got any more anyway. Tough. Go and find a one somewhere else. And thanks for all your help. Hmm. Thanks for nothing. All right, so I got all this shit. Uh, it's there inside me. I know it. I just have to find the right one. I believe you, Wilbur. Uh, let's let's drink some potions. Maybe that'll help. A vial filled with the red potion. I have absolutely no idea what it does. Well, drink it. I'm supposed to drink a potion whose effects I can only guess at. On the other hand, hey, what could happen? Ooh, Technicolor. Hmm, nothing. All right, uh, let's try the blue one. A blue potion in a little vial. No idea what it does. Drink it. Maybe the second potion will do something. Strange, again. Nothing. Oh, wait. Everything's spinning. Was that alcohol, maybe? I hope not. I'm not allowed to drink alcohol yet. It's probably like a potion oh, of Featherfall or something. Back to normal. All right, uh, potion number three. A green potion. Can't imagine what that's for. Let's drink it. I'm only going to take a sip, though, just in case it's alcohol again. Hey, everything's getting bigger. Hmm. Finally, a useful portion. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Ah, you. Why is that rat still alive? I haven't moved yet. I'm working on it. Well, good. What do you want? Uh, I'd like to buy something. I want to buy something from you. What then? Uh, I'd like a roll of magically treated material. I need some magically treated cloth. How about a roll? Yep, I've got that here. That's two gold per thigh. Uh, how much is a thigh? A thigh? How much is that? Ugh, a good two dwarf's feet, or one and a half minotaur inches. Three-eighths gnome, if you like. I see, and how many thighs to the roll? About one and a quarter sea stone rods. That's about two and a half fathoms, right? That should do it. Uh, isn't that really expensive? That seems pretty expensive to me. The prices have just gone up. You just can't imagine how much demand there is for magically worked cloth when there's a war on. It's a hell of a business. Uh, I don't think I want to buy anything after all. I don't see anything I want to buy. Maybe later. Hmm. Alright, uh, I, I need to get going. I have to go. Maybe I'll come by later. If you have to. All right, so uh, we got to go, and uh, we're going to check out Meadow. So let's check out the map. And this is the Meadow. Whooperman. Hello. Excuse me. Oh, hello. A young gnome, and he's got outstanding manners to boot. What brings you here? My name's Wilbur Weathervin. I'm from the White Ridge Mountains, and I have to speak to the Archmage. Well then, young Wilbur. I'm Willy the Wondrous. What can I do for you? Uh, you're a showman, aren't you? Are you the showman Master Marcus told me about? I don't know which showman your master Marcus told you about, but I am a showman. Willie Whopperman's the name. Some people call me Willie the Wondrous. But I only run my little fun fair on the side. First and foremost, I'm a fortune teller. Uh, Mr. Marcus says you're really rich. Is it true that you're very rich? <coughs> Why do you ask? Do you want to rob me? Uh, no, definitely don't want to rob you. Absolutely not. 
I want to be an honourable fighter for all that's good and right, and that means I can't rob anybody. What do you want, then? I need a lot of gold to be accepted into the mage school. A pile of gold? Uh-huh. Hmm. I do have that much gold here, but it's the top prize from the Wheel of Fortune. I can't just give it to you. Of course not. That would be too easy. Uh, can you really predict the future? Can you really predict the future? Of course. People come from all across the land to ask me for advice, and I give them good tips in exchange for good gold. And what do they want to know? They want to know, for example, if the price of bread is going to rise. Then I tell them, yes, the price will rise. Then everyone buys lots of bread as a precaution, and the price really does rise. Fascinating. Or the women want to know what next season's colour will be. I always know. So if you say that the ladies will be wearing green next year... Then everyone wears green. You must be an excellent fortune teller, then. <laughs> the best. Would people pay me so much gold for my prophecies if I wasn't? Um, what's going on with these cages? These cages, what are they for? <laughs> oh, the animals used to be part of my fair. But since I started earning my money with fortune telling, they're just a hobby. Apart from the pigeons, of course. What's with the pigeons? The pigeons deliver my prophecies throughout the land. I work mainly for people I don't know personally. Why? Well, how shall I put it? Should a prophecy not quite come to pass, then it's better to be far away, don't you think? Hmm, that's pretty good. Uh, do you think maybe you could predict the future for me? Could you predict my future for me, please? I'd really appreciate it. I see... That I can. Oh. Wow. But I don't have any gold. Not a problem. I perceive that today it's going to be on the house. Ooh, weird. So, come on. Om. Om. Hocus pocus. I see... The future. What do you want to know? Um. Is this adventure going to have a happy ending for me? Will I be able to master the tasks that lie before me? No. You'd be better off giving up and going home. But then I would have failed. Yes, sir. And I'd have been right. Do you want to know anything else? Hmm. Uh, so what's going to happen today? What will the day bring? I see... darkness. Uh-oh. The day will end in it. Hmm. Even I could have predicted that. <laughs> today you are going to play <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. And when you do... You're going to ask yourself if you'd have done so without my prophesying it. Do you want to know more? Mm, what's the next question I'm going to ask you? If you can see into the future, tell me what question I'm going to ask next. You... well... Oh, the connection's broken. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Too bad. Your question was perhaps a bit too... Specific. My gift is very erratic. Mm, thanks, just the same. That was very interesting. Mm. Ooh, strange. <laughs> He's a fucking hack. All right, uh, we're going to take the crystal ball. I can't just take the crystal ball. The showman would notice it missing. Mm. That is true. Okay, uh, let's look at the crazy hairy thing. A cage full of hair. Huh. Here's a small sign saying Bertram, the world's fattest hamster. Wow. Jesus Christ. I don't know if Bertram really is the fattest hamster in the world, but I reckon he's right up there. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what's this? 
An empty cage, I guess. The sign says, Ziggy, the invisible pink squirrel, may bite. Please stay back. Uh, Ziggy's doing well, I think. The cage is lined with straw. There are lots of pigeon feathers and, uh, well, the other stuff the pigeons leave lying around. Oh my god. Alright, take a pet. Take a feather. I'll just take one feather. A big clean one. Alright, so now we have a feather. Sweet. Uh, let's look at the wheel. There are a total of 16 different fields on the wheel. Four colors and four symbols in every possible combination. Okay. The chance of guessing the right segment is 1 in 16. I wouldn't bet my gold on that, if I had any gold. Hmm. The chance of guessing the right... Okay. Uh, so let's, uh, let's distract him, shall we? Wait, let's... Look at the caravan. That's a hell of a caravan. <laughs> wow! The wagon is like a house on wheels. Probably wasn't cheap. Hmm, probably wasn't. I definitely wouldn't want to get into a punch-up with the pony that pulls this wagon. All right, let's talk to the showman. <coughs> Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? Um, there's something not quite right about that squirrel. Are you sure there's nothing wrong with the squirrel? You think so? It looks pretty normal to me. Look, we're going to swap his crystal Maybe ball. Maybe the crystal ball from the mage school would work better. His other predictions are pretty useless. There we go. You're all right, aren't you? I hope he's all right. It's such an impressive animal, don't you think? Uh, uh, how do you know the squirrel's pink? How do you know the squirrel is pink? Have you ever seen it? I haven't, but I'm quite sure it's pink. You come across the pink ones more often. Come to think of it, how can it have a color if it's invisible? The zoologists aren't quite sure. You could say it's still a mystery. Come on, Wilbur, hurry the hell up. I mean, Wilbur. Um, Will, Will, Will Wumberman, whoosh, Bill, speak to the showman. We're gonna get our fortune read. God damn it. Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? Uh, can you predict the future for me again? Could you predict my future again, please? I'd be happy to. Home, home, hocus poke. Hmm, that looks a lot different than it did last time. Mr. Wapperman, hello. He looks like he's completely out of it. Wonder if I can ask him questions. Was, was that an answer to my question? Can you speak as well? Okay. Uh, will I meet the Archmage? Will I fulfill my mission and give the Archmage the ring? What? No, but then, then it will all be for naught. Hmm. Nothing horrible is going to happen to me in the adventure, is it? Will something bad happen to me during this adventure? Will, will I be hurt? Am I going to die? Oh my god. Oh. Then tell me. Huh? I must have fallen asleep again. Excuse me. You... you don't know anymore? No? About what? Oh, nothing. I think he really saw into the future this time. But he seems to wake up after a few questions. Alright, so now we have our... Hello. 
our clue here. So we Never. only have a few questions to get what these things right. What can I do for you? Uh. <coughs> Could I have a go on the Wheel of Fortune, please? With I think we have to do the Wheel of Fortune first. How does it work? As you can see, there are four different colors. Red, yellow, green, and blue. You tell me which color the wheel is going to stop on. If you manage to get it right three times in a row, then you win the jackpot. Isn't it rather unlikely that someone would be able to guess the right color three times in a row? If it was easy, then the top prize wouldn't be a sack of gold. Okay. Which color do you want? Uh, red. It'll stop on red. All right then, off we go. Oh, sadly that was completely wrong. Mm. Do you want to try again? Uh, no, no. I don't think so. The chance of winning is much too small for me. As you wish. You are welcome to try again later. All right, so now that we know how it kind of works, the wheel works, after all, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're getting this pile of money this time. So uh, let's go ahead and talk to this gentleman. Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? Uh, could you predict the future for me again? Could you predict my future again, please? I'd be happy to. Home, home, hocus poke. He's in a trance again. I think I can, yeah, okay. <clears throat> if Mr. Wupperman always wakes up after a few questions and have to carefully consider exactly what I want to ask him, I think I can do that. Okay. Isn't, isn't the color blue? Isn't the color blue, or is it blue? Is it pink? What? Uh, is it pink? Is it pink? Aha, so it's not pink. I would have been surprised. Not sort of a dark pink, maybe, or one that tends a little towards purple. I like that colour. It's not a cold pink, but a little warmer. You know what I mean? Do you not agree? Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, we're... Uh, predict the future for me Can again. You predict my future again, please. I'd be happy to. All right, so now we're, we're um, like, I'm tr I can't remember exactly what we have to press in order to get him to start doing the wheel of the poke. wheel of fortune. But uh, he's in a trance again. Once we figure it out. He woke up after five questions. Ah, here we go. So that means I'll have to find out the right three colors in just five questions. All right. Um, now there's four colors, right? We have blue, yellow, red, and green. So, is it blue or yellow? Is it blue or yellow? Okay, so it's one of them. Okay, so that's one. Uh, is it yellow? Is it yellow? No, okay, so it's blue. Okay, so number one is blue. Okay. Alright. Is it blue or yellow? Is it blue or yellow? Okay, so it is blue or yellow. Is it yellow? Is it yellow? No. Okay, so it's blue. So blue, blue. Oh shit! I wasted it. Ah, oh, I didn't see this. Let's talk about the next round. Is it green? Green. That's. We're just gonna blow What's through this. What's wrong with me? I must have dozed Damn off it. again. <laughs> oh, it, it doesn't matter. <coughs> All right. Um. Could you predict Could the you future predict for me? Could you predict my future okay. again, please? I'd be happy to. 
Om, om, hocus poke. He's in a trance again. All right, five questions. Is it yellow or red? Is it yellow or red? No. Okay. So if it's not yellow or red, it's got to be either green or blue. So is it green? Is it green? Okay, it is green. Good. Let's talk about the next round. Let's go to the next spin. Is it green or yellow? Is it green or yellow? No, okay, so it's not green or yellow, so it has to be blue or red. Shit, I'm gonna like forget what the hell the, the first one was. I think the first one was green, wasn't it? Uh, uh, I'm like desperately trying to write it. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. There we go. Okay, so, uh, shit. Is it red? Is it red? Okay, so the second color is red. All right, so now we have to go, let's talk about the next round. Let's go to the next spin. <sighs> is it blue or yellow? Is it blue or yellow? What's wrong with okay, me? So, I shit. must have dozed off again. Oh, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, let's let's have another can we spin play another of the wheel. round of the Wheel of Fortune. We can play two more rounds if you like, my little friend. Which color do you want? Green. It'll stop on green. All right then, off we go. Outstanding. You guessed right. You see, it isn't so difficult. So, on we go. Just two more correct guesses to win. Which color do you want? Uh, red. It'll stop on red. All right then. Off we go. Unbelievable! Two in a row! Oh my god. Do okay, so this next one is either going to be blue or yellow. Not really. Does it have something to do with the space-time continuum? Not quite. It means that you are just one away from winning a pile of gold. Oh, oh god. Pressure. I don't know. Which color do you want? Blue or yellow, blue or yellow. Fuck it, blue. It'll stop on blue. All right then, off we go. Mm. I Hell yeah! Believe it. Good job, Wilbur. The chances are. Uh, one in four hundred ninety-six. About one in four thousand ninety-six. Exactly. Perhaps you can see into the future, just like me. Certainly not as well as you do. Woo! Do I get my sack of gold now? Woo! But of course, you've won it. Oh, thanks ever so much. Oh, man. Okay, guys, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Uh, me and Wilbur here in the Book of Unwritten Tales. Oh, my God. Okay, so today we went ahead and uh, we talked to the merchant, and he really wasn't really that helpful. Um, but he did give us a mission that we have to go ahead and defeat a rat. We also go, went ahead and got a huge pile of gold, which is great. We have a world enlargening potion and a blue feather, and of course we have our pile of gold, which is great. Now, I don't think we really have to come back here, uh, maybe except for like one more time. Uh, so when we come back, we're going to go back to town. We're going to hand him the huge pile of gold, and then we're going to go ahead and try to uh, get started on our mage quest. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me, and I will catch you all next time. Peace out, everybody.